Governor Jared Polis celebrating the launch of Universal Preschool in Colorado. He is also responding to questions and concerns about its rollout. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Shannon Ogden. I'm Ann Trujillo. Denver 7's Brandon Richards spoke with the governor today about how the program is falling short of initial expectations. Every four-year-old is able to go to preschool. Colorado Governor Jared Polis went back to school Tuesday. We'll have a wonderful preschool year, everybody. The governor stopped by Fisher Early Learning Center in Denver to celebrate the launch of the state's universal preschool program. This is Colorado's first year of universal free preschool, and it's absolutely incredible. Dr. Lisa Roy, who heads the Colorado Department of Early Childhood, accompanied the governor on his visit. There's a ton of research that shows that if you invest in children early, it makes a difference as far as learning and health outcomes throughout their lives. The governor says some 40,000 children are enrolled in preschool this year, a 43% increase. It saddens me that for so many years, that many families weren't able to go to preschool in our state because it, it costs money that they couldn't afford with a high cost of living. So uh, this increased preschool enrollment and removed the, the economic barrier for every child to be able to go to preschool. But some children won't be going to full day preschool, 30 hours a week, as their families had anticipated. The state says there wasn't enough funding to meet demand. Therefore, it can only pay for 15 hours or half a day of preschool. We were hoping that we could give as many children full day as possible, but we did say it was based on available funding. The governor says despite the funding shortfall, families are saving money in the end. Really, the half day is a universal building block for everybody. It saves every family in the state money. Uh, and of course, uh, many families that had full day will be saving about 6,000 a year. And as I said, over 10,000 families that didn't have preschool at all will now benefit from half day. The state is still paying for full day preschool for children with at least two qualifying risk factors, such as those with limited English skills, those whose families are experiencing homelessness, and those who live in foster care in Denver. Brandon Richard, Denver 7. And the need for early learning centers stretches beyond the Denver Metro. Pueblo Community College is now partnering with a child care center to offer services near campus. Life Center Academy is offering spots at a reduced rate for students and staff. Of course, it's already full with 30 children and another 20 on a wait list. And the CEO says they plan to offer 10 more spots this fall.